Hey there, in this video, I'll show you how to deploy a Streamlit app with a Docker image in Google Cloud Run. I've done two videos in the past where I've, I show you how to deploy a Streamlit app with uh, Google Cloud Run and, uh, and uh, using a GitHub repo, okay? In this case, uh, no GitHub required. We're gonna use a Docker image in Google Cloud Run to deploy a Streamlit app. Before I go on with the rest of the video, if you find the remainder of the video useful, helpful, and or interesting, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Thank you. All right, so let's get going. Here are set of instructions uh, to deploying a Streamlit app with a Docker image and Google Cloud Run. In the, in the description, there's a link that will take you to this instructions and so you can follow them when you're doing it, okay? So the first thing is that you, you know, it, requ will require, it requires your Python code that uh, you built uh, to build a Streamlit app, okay? And there, there's two other files that are required as well, requirements.txt. Basically, it's gonna list all the libraries libraries that your app requires. The third is a Docker file. Basically, it's a set of instructions to build the Docker image. We're gonna use Google Cloud Build um, in Google Cloud Console to uh, a shell editor to push the Docker image uh, to Artifact Registry, which is basically uh, um, it basically lets you manage uh, your uh, manage Docker container images, and uh, then uh, lastly we'll use Cloud Run to deploy the app. Okay, and then it requires that you enable all of these APIs. You enable billing for your project, enable the following roles, um, and then once you have done that, it's pretty straightforward from there. And I'll show you how to do all that stuff next. All right, so let let's head over to Google Cloud Console. Let's go to uh, Cloud Shell. So let's activate that. All right, so for this demonstration, for my video here, I'm gonna create a, a directory. Let's call it uh, YouTube YT Demo. Let's go over to uh, uh, that directory that we just created. Uh, there should be nothing there. All right, so I already have um, a Python code um, that I uh, for uh, for a Streamlit app that I built. It's just for demonstration. It's really just for you know, for this demonstration. And so I'm I, I'm going to upload that a Python code app.py. Basically, that's what I called it. So I'm going to click here on more upload. Uh, I'm going to choose this file in here. I better make sure uh, it's going to go to this new directory called yt demo, and I'm going to choose uh, app dot file and, uh, and let's just bring in app dot file upload. All right, that's done. Let's list. All right, so app dot pi is there, and um, I have. Um, I'm going to go to, I'm going to open the editor. I already have the Docker file here and the uh, instruct uh, requirements.txt uh, as well. So let's go to Docker file. Basically, basically again, instructions, right, to create um, a Docker image. The main thing is uh, for, for you guys to keep in mind is that if your Python code is called XYZ, dot pi then you would change that here okay mine is app dot pi so that's that's the one thing to keep in mind and um, it's going to install the the requirements dot txt for us so let let me s save this file save as in the directory that we just created here um, where are you waiting that one I also need to save this guy. File save as. All right, so I'm going to go back to the terminal and let's list uh, all the files here. So Docker file requirements dot text etc. They're all there. Okay. So basically, this is what you will need to do: is like come to the shell editor, upload your files. Uh, These three files: the Python code, Docker file requirements dot txt. Uh, best thing to do is obviously you know you know make a 
uh, directory for the for for your project or for your um, app that you want to deploy. Okay, and in my case, I just called it YT Demo. It got all the three files there. The next step is uh, we're going to create a new repository, and the way we do this is it, this is all in the instructions. Okay, it, it will give you this command uh, that you have to use to create um, uh, a new repository, and we do that with FG Cloud Artifacts uh, repositories, uh, and then we just say create. Uh, you know, in our case, we'll call it YT. Uh, YT demo, like what, what do you want to, you know, name your image, um, or name your repository, sorry. Uh, we're going to call it um, YT demo, um, make it useful in um, Docker repo, that uh, makes sense. And then uh, dash dash repository, dash uh, format is going to be Docker. And then two more things. We have to provide the location. In my case, uh, it's US Central 1. You put in wherever yours is. And then last thing we have to do is uh, provide a description, which we will call Docker repository. Okay. So we should create this uh, artifact. Um, all right, done. So, no. Um, Spelling artifacts. No, it's not artifacts. It's art artifacts. All right. So all right, it should be good. And then we can check, uh, make sure it's there. Okay. So G Cloud um, artifacts. I'm getting this wrong this time. Um, how do you, uh, yeah, repositories. Uh, and then you just list that. It should be there. It should say, um, uh, again, spelling. It's not repositories, repositories. Okay, it should list that. It should only be that one. Um, Here it is, this guy, okay? All right. The next uh, thing we're gonna do is um, we actually build the image uh, using the Docker file that's in this directory. So it's important that Docker file is in the directory. All right, so G Cloud, the way we do that is, again, all of this is an instruction file. Um, build, submit, um, uh, we need to provide our region. In my case, it's US Central 1, um, and then Dash dash tag, um, US dash central one in my case, um, and uh, dash um, Docker dot uh, PK package dot dev. Um, and then you provide your um, you have to provide your project ID. It's this guy right here. Going to be the, that's going to be the case for you as well. So then um, the last thing we have to do then is provide the name of the repo we just created, which was YT demo dash docker dash repo um, slash what do we want to name our image? I'll just say consistent YT demo dash image. And colon tag one. All right, assuming all the spellings are, and didn't misspell anything. Um, okay, so now that it's done, we're going to head over to Google Cloud Run. And I'm going to refresh this guy here. And I'm going to say deploy. Uh, containers and then select service and we're, we're going to stick with this default here artifact uh, uh, registry uh, and it's this guy right here basically 
I guess I could have just copied this over here. It's 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 uh, it's this image right here. Um, and we want to do the demo. It's this guy. All right, so we selected that. I could have just as easily copied it from here, uh, US Central, Docker, all of that stuff, and pasted it directly in there. Okay, so the next thing is, you know, if, if you have done this before, like you launched a, uh, deployed a Streamlit app, or you watched my prior videos that shows you how to do that, but using GitHub, in this case, the only difference is we're using a Docker uh, image, okay? And so, I'll just leave it here. The service name is really basically it's going to become part of your uh, URL. So you want to name it something that's um, that makes sense to you. I'm going to just leave this as is. Um, and then um, you want to go with, uh, this is what I'm doing is uh, allowing unauthenticated invocations. Basically, you know, if you're going to deploy this app, um, it will let whoever you share that URL, URL with or anyone who finds it will be able to use your Streamlit app, um, and, you know, and you, you definitely want to um, leave it as the default. Um, watch my other video; I kind of unpack a lot of the stuff there. And uh, in if you have, if you have uh, environment variables, okay, you would click on this guy here: containers, volumes, network security, um, and then you would come to variables. And secrets and you would enter in my case it requires a Google API key so I would just say to whatever it is you know your variable name is um, and you would actually then provide you know your key here I, I'm making one up here uh, I'm gonna delete this because I'm gonna use um, I'm gonna um, I'm going to add a volume. I already have a um, uh, use secrets manager. So if I say secret, secret one, um, it's I already have my Google API key there. Um, all right, done. Okay. And then yeah, I know it's not mounted. Uh, now we're going to go to containers and come here and I'm going to reference a secret um, and it's this guy that's that I'm done with that all right and then I I'm just gonna go with all the defaults uh, default uh, selections here uh, I'll encourage you to go check out and learn more about what the other options are uh, but in my case, I'm just going to not do that. Um, and then what we would do is hit create, and when it, when it's done, it's going to it's going to create this uh, uh, basically. Um, where is it? Image dot uh, yt dot demo um, and endpoint URL is going to be this. So this is going to be your URL that you would share with others. Uh, this is where your Streamlit app would show up, okay? And uh, let me hit create, and it's gonna do its thing. And that's that, guys. Uh, this set of instructions are uh, yours. A link in the description that will take you, to, take you to this, as well, the Docker file. So you don't have to, you know, create that for yourself. I'm gonna give you the Docker file so you can just copy and paste it. Remember to change your, if your Python code is xyz.py, then change it xyc.py because you know mine mine is app.py okay so that's the thing and uh, we're done all right hope you enjoyed the video hopefully it was helpful useful and or interesting in terms of how to deploy a streamlit app with a docker image and google cloud run no github required all right until next time